If there were only one day left of this world before the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make that day long. He would stretch it out until Allah sends a person from my progeny. Allah sends a person from my Ahl al-Bayt. His name shall be my name and his father's name shall be my father's name. Therefore, the name of the Mahdi will be Muhammad and his father's name will be Abdullah. So the Mahdi will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. His name will be my name and his father's name will be my father's name. He shall fill the earth with justice as it was filled with zulm and injustice. So in this hadith which is reported in Abu Dawud, and by the way, all of the hadith I'm going to quote today, uh, the scholars of hadith, in particular Ibn Hajar and Shaykh Al-Albani, uh, they have declared them to be authentic. So in this hadith of Abu Dawud, the Prophet ﷺ gave us a number of characteristics. Firstly, he said, if there was only one day left, Allah would make it longer until the Mahdi is sent. Who can tell me what is the point of mentioning this? What does it mean if there was only one day left, the day will be made longer? Can anybody guess or fathom what is the meaning of this? Why is the Prophet ﷺ saying this? If there's only one day left, Allah will make it longer until the Mahdi comes. Of the ten signs, any more guesses? Yes. The significance of the Mahdi. The significance of the Mahdi. That the coming of the Mahdi is so important. The day of judgment will not occur until the Mahdi comes. This is the meaning. That's what the Prophet is saying. The day of judgment cannot occur until the Mahdi comes. So this is the first point of the hadith. The second point, his name and his father's name. So the Mahdi will be called Muhammad ibn Abdullah, which means that there will be a person by the name of Abdullah. He will give birth to a child and he will call this child Muhammad. It does not mean that when a person becomes old, and his name is Mustafa, he changes his name, he goes, oh, I think I should be called Muhammad. Anybody who does this cannot be the Mahdi. It means when the child is born, he shall be given the name Muhammad. And when his father was born, his father had given him the name Abdullah. Names given at childbirth. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Why do I say this? Because in the history of the Ummah, there have been over 30 people who claim to be Mahdi. Over 30. This guy Juhayman was no original character. He was following many other people before him. Okay. Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the one that he declared to be a Mahdi, was not the first person. Many were the people who declared to be the Mahdi. The majority of them were not called Muhammad. They were born with another name. When they became powerful and they're about to become famous and, or they are famous, they want to call themselves Mahdi, they change their name to Muhammad. And they say, my name is now Muhammad, I'm the Mahdi. It doesn't work that way. You have to be born with Muhammad and your father has to be born with Abdullah. This is the second point, his name. The third point, his lineage. He shall be from the Ahlul Bayt. He must be from the tribe of Quraysh, from the Banu Hashim, from the descendants of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through Fatima and Ali. This is the Ahlul Bayt that are remaining. So the Ahlul Bayt, he must be from them. And the fourth characteristic, that's mentioned in this hadith, the Prophet Wasallam said that he shall fill the earth with justice as it was filled with injustice. This means that the Mahdi will come at a time when the earth is filled with evil, when there is much zulm and fasad, when there is much fitna, when there is much blood being shed, and he shall come and in his lifetime through his hands, Allah Azza wa Jal will change the course of history. Instead of the earth being a place of evil, it shall become a place of good. This is another characteristic of the Mahdi.